All right, Michael's gonna try to get bust through this before I try it. It's really getting windy. I think you're just plowing snow in the front now is part of the problem. Well, snow drift proved to be too much. Truck just bottomed out in it. This side's not so bad, but this side, it's up to the wheel well and the front end's just plowing. So, gonna get out some recovery boards and uh, see if we can get up on that and hook onto the, you know, at least get the diff lock on and hook both of the tracks under the back and hopefully pull it out. So out in the northwest, it's pretty common for winter days to stay above freezing, mostly gray with a lot of rain. So when the snow actually does fall, it's common to be busy with work, life, all the things that happen day to day. It's hard to get out and enjoy it before it turns to rain and slush again. So with some fresh snow on the ground and our work week behind us, my brother and I decided to load up our mini camper trucks to head out in the mountains and do some winter camping. Enjoy the video. Gotta pick up some gas and some extra water, maybe some uh, beverages, and uh, on our way. Ah, truck's doing pretty good today. Yeah, that cruise ran in about a week or so. I'm hauling an extra 90 pounds. <laughs> Got the camera guy again, huh? Uh, camera guy. He's worth his weight. No, uh, no Yorkies today, though. Oh, I should have brought one, dude. I totally forgot. <laughs> That's all right. We're going Yorkie free. Love climbing trees, don't they? Just climbing the last one. <laughs> <laughs> the last moss on this one. Got some plow trucks out here. Must be expecting some more snow. All right, made it over the steep climb here. Cruising along, doing 58 or so in a 60 mile an hour zone, and that person was hot to pass. And unfortunately, kicked up a bunch of gravel in that center zone right there and uh, chipped my windshield right there. Unfortunately, this comes up again in the video. Felt a little strange breaking all that ice with the truck, but uh, they got through there. Just about uh, a half inch. Trucks did pretty good. We like these rocks. Dinosaur rocks left out here. Pretty good. Looks like a great little camp spot right by this river here, but we kind of both want to get into some snow, so great fire pit too. And there's no garbage here. All right, push on up to the snow yeah, if we can find it. Elevation. Starting to see some snow up here. That's a nice sign. We're hoping to get into some snow and do some camping. It's starting to come down pretty good out here, which is awesome. Well, it's starting to snow out here, and uh, this is a pretty cool spot. All these icicles hanging off the stone.
Ça. Well, it's starting to stack up pretty good up here. See, somebody's cut through this road at some point recently. There's some ruts, but it's all getting filled in. So we're gonna keep pushing on until it gets really deep. We might even camp just a hair lower so we don't get snowed in up here. I think it's gonna snow until two or three in the morning. I don't know if I really wanna get snowed in this high up, so we might push on and uh, start dropping elevation again and find a camp spot after that. As long as the trucks keep pushing on, we got um, a pretty decent amount of snow on the road right now. You can definitely feel it, taking some power to cut through it. But the trucks are still cruising. Definitely some cliffs on the side. You don't wanna slide off right there. Well, if it continues to snow like this, we might be, uh, I mean, the truck's got a decent amount of clearance, but. It's still gonna stack up pretty quick up here. Yeah, it's coming down. You know, the fact that it's gonna be snowing for another six, seven hours. Yeah. You know, so we'll maybe push on, see if we start heading back down again, camp a little lower, or uh, we'll see what we can get to, but. The tricky part is if we continue too far and drop down the side of something, if there's another washout and we have to come back up yeah. and over and this is all packed in. Uh, yeah, it would be basically be stuck tricky, back so. in this mountain range We'll here. see. We still have a little daylight left. Might as well just well, cruise and take a look. A little bit. Ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, it's starting to get a little narrower up here. Well, it looks like there's take a, a look drift right over the road here. But it gets a little more narrow and it gets a little twisty. So hopefully this isn't just where most people come up and turn around. I'm hoping. All right, Michael's going to try to get bust through this before I try it. It's really getting windy. Well, snow drift proved to be too much. Truck just bottomed out in it. This side's not so bad, but this side, it's up to the wheel well and the front end's just plowing. So, gonna get out some recovery boards and uh, see if we can get up on that and hook onto the, you know, at least get the diff lock on and hook both of the tracks under the back and hopefully pull it out. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Everything's icing up pretty fast up here. All right, let's head on down. Well, got stuck in that snow drift back there, and uh, it's windy up here. Lots of snow is coming down, so we're gonna head down the hillside a ways to get to a little bit lower elevation, just so we don't get snowed in up here or have a wind kick up a big berm of snow, something we can't get the trucks through like that back there. It's definitely coming down though. So we just got talking about uh, this pull off here we could camp in, but it's really kind of almost in a wind tunnel between these ridges here and it's just blowing through here. So we're gonna push on a little further and uh, find a location that's kind of out of the wind a little bit more. Looking for a good camp spot through here. Road's getting pretty narrow. Well, found a camp spot. Fire up a piece of heating now. Diesel heater starting to kick out some heat. It's time for a beer. You like one? Thanks, dude. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, we got to camp a little later than we expected. Shit. Felt like it was like a dog, dude, when you take it out to go to the bathroom and just can't find the right spot. Where we, we looked, just didn't soak right. Now we're circling around trying to make our beds. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, oh, it was man. kind of grueling. We made it to that snow drift. That was about as far as we could get through there. That was too, too gnarly. And the way the weather came in, it was just stacking up. I think a little bit lower, but now we're facing uh, rain and snow. Yeah, it's a little more miserable down here, but it was pretty <laughs> miserable up there. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I just would hate to get up in the morning and find that we can't get the trucks out, man. Some of those sections of those roads were super steep on the sides and it was off camera right towards the side of the cliff, so. Doing some whittling? Yeah, I'm gonna carve a uh, wizard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a little fires going. I'm gonna probably hop in my camper pretty soon and start making some pasta. Yeah, some hot dogs if you want. Yeah, I want to find one of those. Just started. Yeah. It's like my olive oil is all gelled up here. I have to preheat it by the heater. All right, I'm gonna make some smoked salmon fettuccine here. Got some pickled asparagus with some uh, pepperoncinis mixed in there. Pretty good little treat. Half and half. One thing I forgot is I had some uh, minced garlic here. I would have liked to throw that in with the butter and oil. Forgot I packed it. Got some smoked salt in here and some uh, pepper. And some Parmesan. Now for the smoked salmon. Well, I'd say it's pretty good. The smoked salmon was a little on the sweet side, though. I probably would get a different variety next time. Plus, it was extremely hard. I think is like really dried out. Not quite the easiest to mix in here. Overall, it's pretty good. Like I said, the smoked salmon was a little too sweet for my liking, but all in all, pretty good for camp food. Pretty nasty and wet out there. Hung out by the fire with Andy for a while longer, and it was just big snow clumps falling off the trees and half rain, half snow. So inside the camper now and just relaxing and stayed up pretty late last night, just couldn't fall asleep very well. So I think uh I think it's probably ten thirty or eleven, but I'm tired. I uh, driving around looking for the right spot, which the spot we have here is not bad. I was hoping to find a nice spot by a river or something like that or a nice view for the morning. But up high, we we're dealing with too much snow and um, wind up there. I was worried about a big alder or something breaking across the road. And I still haven't modified my chainsaw so I can keep it outside the camper. I don't want to have a bar oil leaking in here or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I think we called it good just getting out of the higher elevation just because it was stacking up pretty quick. And I think it was going to snow for until maybe four in the morning. And you just never know around here. Sometimes it could just dump a few feet and sometimes it'll three or four inches. But just in the driving around up there, I think it snowed about four to six inches in the higher elevation on top of what was existing there. And with the wind blowing around, I just felt like it's better to come down a little lower. But time for bed. See what, uh, what kind of weather we get tomorrow. Getting some water heated up for some coffee. Slept in a little bit, which is nice. It's not like it's raining, but just a bunch of these little frozen pellets came down. Not exactly snow, frozen pellets, but. It's actually sunny out there. Nice change. One nice thing to set up is having these heater ports right here. You can uh, have this little rubber mat so any snow or water falls into that. Boots get dried in the morning. Coats hang up over here by the door. They can drip if they need to on the mat, but by morning, everything's nice and dry.
Well, grab some of these, and these are completely melted in the morning, but threw two of these in. My girlfriend's mom, she's uh, into using these in their cooler, bigger ones, of course, but uh, water bottles stuck in the freezer. There's still a block of ice in each of these, so I think that's the way I'm gonna roll. Plus, you can drink them later if you need to. Uh, I must be getting low on butane. Got like no throttle control. <laughs> well, started snow raining again. Would you say this is more snow than rain though? Yeah, I think it's like, yeah, there's a little more snow than rain in here. <laughs> Definitely a nice mix though. Reminds me of last night. Yeah. Dude, there's weird. We're driving along the roads and it would go from snow and then like a certain section of the road would just turn into a downpour of rain. Yeah, that was weird. It was stacked up. The whole thing was completely melted for like a quarter mile or something and you'd get back right instantly and there would just be a line where there was snow again. Was yeah, crazy. strange. <laughs> kind of a creature of habit. Throwing in some more pepperoncinis. The butane ran low. Still had some in the bottle, but that's the unfortunate thing about butane. It really tapers off, so. Fortunately, we got these little solo stoves here, and uh, we got these little sections you can put a pot on it. Just remembered I had some uh, garlic from the, I throw in this breakfast. So this is a simple one. These containers, these uh, egg containers go in plastic these days, and just cut a section off for what you need. Keeps your eggs from getting crushed. Some tape on them and it's good to go. Guess that's one of the drawbacks but benefits of the plastic. Extra bonus. Guy had some leftover parmesan for our uh, servings here. So. Something's starting to come out of here. All right, let it rip. Oh, it didn't shoot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you didn't even hit it. Wait, dude. How'd you do that? Just the wind blowing past it. <laughs> <laughs> So one thing I'd like to point out is a lot of people were concerned that we made flat roofs on these things. They just thought that the water would just collect and just build up. But most of the time you're parked on an angle like this and water's coming down the sides. That's where we want to seal them really well. It's definitely not just piling up to like a foot column on top. Flat roofs, even if you're dead flat, it's going to run off one side or another eventually. So <laughs> that's simple enough. Not an issue. You didn't put a five degree angle on your roof so water would run off because the five degree angle happens naturally when you just park somewhere. Nice day. Yeah. Well, for now. Yeah. <laughs> for the My, next 10 minutes. Yeah. This is cool. Rare sight this time of year.
yesterday we stopped by a little gas station in the middle of nowhere. I don't think they get 92 purchased there very often. And uh, filled up the trucks. The trucks were running great. I filled up from a different pump. My truck's still running good. But late afternoon or early evening, Andy's truck started stumbling at idle. Not uh, idling very good at all. It runs fine at high RPM, so I think it's got a little bit of water in his uh, flow pool of his carb. Usually the idle jet hangs a little lower in the carb. And uh, it usually doesn't affect uh, the main jet, so we're looking around for some heat. So we're heading a little further and uh, looking around for some, basically it's alcohol in the bottle that will blend with the water and um, make your engine pass that water. Hopefully we can find some and hopefully that's it. I mean, truck runs fine on the highway still, so I think that's always the with. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we're doing about 58 miles an hour and somebody yesterday in a 60 mile an hour zone wanted to pass and that rock flying off hitting my windshield and uh realized it hit here and after doing some off-roading yesterday it's cracked all the way down to here so these windows are extremely hard to find nothing lasts forever just hoping this window would last a little longer than this but i got one of these repair kits but it's far from it and i'm going to try it in there but it's not going to stop the crack just because it's for just little dings like that and sealing it, but I'll put it in there anyways. Well, because I can actually feel almost with, if you put my knife blade across here, I can almost feel it. I think I'm gonna try actually dripping some of this glass repair super glue in here and see if it can at least just stop the crack. Put on extra thick here, but it should be all right.